Looking for ways to improve your cinematography skills? Well, I'm gonna show you how this small rig mini follow focus can help you to make more creative shots like this. Hey everyone, Camber here, helping you make good videos. And today, I'm gonna show you some cool tricks using this mini follow focus this small rig sent me to review. Now, this is great when paired with manual focus lenses or if you're just using it with the manual focus setting on your camera, but before we get to that, I'm gonna show you how you can use this in combination with the zoom ring on your camera to create some really cool video effects. So, let's take a look at a few movie examples and see if we can recreate them using this small rig mini follow focus. I'm bored. It just seems like a good bit of fun. So what we just saw was a whip or crash zoom or really whatever you want to call it, but it's where the camera zooms in really quickly to emphasize the subject. So with the follow focus set up on the zoom ring, you start with the wide angle and zoom in quickly. And here's the result. It just seems like a good bit of fun. The first one seemed to work out pretty well, and yes, you could get the same effect by simply moving the zoom ring quickly, but the problem with that is you can unintentionally introduce more camera shake or even change the lens angle because of having to twist the zoom ring sideways. Whereas the follow focus allows you to twist your hand in the same direction that the lens is pointing and therefore reducing unintentional camera movement. But now let's take a look at another shot from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It broke my heart to put that tumor in her head. What? And what you just saw there was a dolly zoom, which is a much more difficult shot where you're using the zoom ring to keep your subject relatively the same size while sliding either closer to or further away from the subject. Now keep in mind here that my wife's cinematography experience consists of pretty much just standing behind the camera and pressing record, but this gear allowed her to get this shot after just about four or five tries. It broke my heart to put that tumor in her head. No, no, all right. I know that sounds bad. So not too bad for someone who rarely uses cameras for video, but I do want to point out that in order to make these shots work, you do need to have a camera with good autofocus. And these are really difficult shots to do when trying to move the zoom ring by hand, because trying to move the zoom consistently while your hand is twisting perpendicular to the camera's sliding movement is no simple task. And once again, having this follow focus setup allows you to twist your hand in the same direction as the camera movement. Another difficult aspect of this shot is hitting the same marks consistently when using just the zoom ring, which can be done by making some marks on your lens, but then you're focusing on the marks instead of the monitor. However, the follow focus allows you to set A and B points so that you'll be able to consistently hit the same points without having to focus on it. But those are just a couple cool tricks that you can do using the follow focus with the zoom ring. So let me know if you have any other ideas on video tricks that you could do using this device. And I have another example I'm gonna show you at the end, but before I do, let's take a closer look at the mini follow focus and all that comes with it. You get the mini follow focus with the AB stops, a rod clamp along with an Allen wrench to attach it to your camera, a rod for attaching the follow focus to the clamp, and the snap-on gear ring. I'm using the Sony FX3, so I have attachment points on my camera, but you'll need either an attachment point on your camera rig or a cage for your camera, and Small Rig has a lot of affordable camera cage options. And you also have the option of multiple sizes of seamless focus gear rings for your camera so that the end of the snap-on gear ring won't interfere with the focus gear. And speaking of the gear, there are also multiple gear size options depending on your setup. But the intended use of this follow focus is to attach it to the focus ring of your camera to make manual focusing simpler. As I mentioned when using in conjunction with the zoom ring, you can set A and B points on the rig so that you'll hit your focus marks consistently with each take. And you can also remove an extender piece from the focus wheel that makes for a more compact setup, which is great for using with focus peaking without the stops for fine-tuned manual focusing while run and gun shooting. And you get all that for only $99. However, you can also get 5% off using code smallrig03 with one of the links in the description which also helps the channel and is greatly appreciated. But I'm going to show you one more movie example that the kids helped me recreate using the small rig mini follow focus. In this clip we had both a whip zoom along with another dolly zoom and this is what we came up with.
And I've been using Smallrig products for a couple years now, so when they got in touch with me about sending me this follow focus to review, I was really excited to get it and try it out. And as you can see from the examples, this is a really great, inexpensive way to give you really cool zoom and focus effects for your videos. But if you have any other questions about this, leave them in the comments. I'll answer anything I can, clarify that for you. Also, feel free to join my private Facebook group, also linked in the description where I can better help you on your filmmaking journey. And please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you soon.